Good day everyone and welcome. Before we start, we have a disclosure. Please be aware of risk in the future trading. Today is Monday, January 30th. It's 3.15 p.m. And uh, actually was not bad for Monday. Normally Mondays are not that good. And uh, today we did very well for Monday. We have the the Nasdaq on the 500 takes. Uh, we started around, here is the first trade. We started uh, around eight, eight o'clock and, um, and uh, it was 6,000 on, on one trade. We have a losing trade here. So it would have been more, but then this trade covered everything. It took a long trade didn't make it, then reversed to short trade, and then took another re-entry on the same trend and nailed it. 6,280. This is not ATR, folks. This is a price line. This is a total different animal. On, uh, on the NASDAQ, 550 takes, you can see the first trade where we started today, uh, well, didn't take, it took at 10 o'clock, the same story, 7,700. Uh, on the YM two minutes, it got 3,200. And we started somewhere around there, eight o'clock. Did very well and the same story on the 600 takes uh, made 8665 somehow uh, this auto trade has a, a variety of entry doesn't have one entry have many different type of an entry but for that entry and the Nasdaq between 500 and 600 uh, goes very well and it does not require any tweaking or optimizing you just turn on the entry uh, with no filter and it exits itself you don't need to deal with the trading stop stop loss as an example here uh, the trade took long didn't make it close break even and then it took a short so this one here it's not complicated, it's just one set and then when there is a neutral area like here, the auto trade is going to shut down and then it starts to re-enter the market at a certain level. So this is not an ATR folks, ATRs don't work. This is a total different algorithm. and. Uh, and you can see this yellow, if we, if we take the crosser here, you can see this area here is neutral. So if the auto trade want to take a trade, it would be here. If you take that trade in here, he will exit. And then we enter the market here, exit here, we enter the market exit there you see so this is a very clever without any you can put a trading stop of course and a stop loss or you can uh, let it uh, the auto trade handle the trades for you in 2023 we cannot use a dummy uh, black box auto trades on uh, the NASDAQ 650 is the same story. All the NASDAQ on the text chart, if you noticed, they did extremely well on the NASDAQ, 7,500. On the 10 range, uh, CL, 4,600. You can see how the trade automatically stopped when there is a change in the direction. You can see it. Below that 78.14 is in red, 
above is yellow to the 70, uh, 78.23, it is in yellow, and then from that area start trending. So this is a total different auto trade. The nine range also uh, did 4,500. Perfect e exit, perfect. Beautiful entry, beautiful exit, automatic. You don't need to do any optimization for that um, tweaking and all this nonsense. Uh, 1,600 ES9 range. 1,000, welcome to trade in, not much to it, 8 range. On the CL, uh, 6 range, 4,960. You can see before it happened, the auto trade predicted stayed in red before the breakout and he was as always you can notice the auto trade ticket like couple bars before it happened and the same story here is 1500 on the ES 7 range he has six range, many small trades, 1,287, but finish at 1048. It's not all day long. This one finished at nine o'clock, took one trade. That's it. This is the morning session. This is uh, today's session, and it is 4,500. On one trade perfect entry perfect exit look if we take the crosser here you can see 17 78 17 below that number is short above that number is long look if you we take the crosser from one side to the other you can see how accurate it is, the price levels. And this is 2200, 37 on the DAX, 5000 on the CL, also on the pullback re entry, exit, perfect exit. At the yellow. Let's say uh, this auto trade kept going. Let's say it took short in here because if the market go against you and gets into yellow immediately we shut down the trade with hardly any losses. So all those a stop loss is 20, 30, 40 takes. I have seen some clients have auto trades by somebody else and provide a template with 100 takes stop loss. Uh, <laughs> uh, you don't do that. You know, you don't put a stop loss 100 take. So anyway, the, the losses on a trade is minimized as much as it could be because if there's any change in, in the trend the auto trade immediately we shut it and then he will start searching for a new trade sometimes we have seen the auto trade closing a trade on two ticks three ticks five ticks could be ten ticks but every trade is different so if you take a trade and the market goes in a different direction, then the auto trade will shut it immediately once it go out of the line with the trend. 1000 on the ES, on the YM one minute, 2900. 2900 on the DAX, not much this year on the DAX. ES, three minutes. 
1700 and uh, you know the ES four minutes uh, for the Europeans this is not this trade is not from the US trade uh, on the ES four minutes we got 1350 uh, on the YM we got 1600 and also in Europe they did very well in Europe the same thing here in Europe they did very well and this is the US session but uh, our numbers is only from the US session it's not from the European session the European session is three times the amount then we have the YM three minutes 2400 on the market analyzer we have five different automated trade and if you just take one contract this market analyzer has the same number on every single member we have so the last entry a signal on the ES you have 18 takes in the profit the Nasdaq 59 takes and the YM 80 takes so forget the rest you don't need to trade trade the rest so if you are trade taking the last trade you have 390 based on one contract 305 based on the last contract and uh, 225 uh, 212 based on one contract from the es so this is all what we have folks and uh, we will see you tomorrow live on the other channel thank you very much and god bless